so this is a continuation from part one if you haven't seen it yet go and see it what's cool what's cool what's happening let's get right into the video shall we all right boom i had a nap and i'm back with the head wrap i finished filming this video and then the whole thing disappeared off my phone once again i'm really annoying i'm gonna go through the whole shebang again hopefully a bit more work you know how you saw me last time so these bullies i was talking about bullies at the workplace and how to deal with them and still be able to do your work effectively or even how to be able to do your work even better even though there is a bully but first i'm gonna take you through 10 things 10 things that these bullies be doing and why and let me know if you recognize any of the things number one bullies will refuse to show you how things work in the workplace they will refuse you will ask and ask and ask and these people will not show you how anything works how anything goes what the procedures are how the day usually goes and all the rest of it beg as you may ask how you may they will not show you number two then I start to ask you why it is that you don't know this thing but why don't you know you're here right so by default you should know how the things go but you don't know how it goes why I say like that. Then they'll ask you how you've been able to go so long without knowing this thing. So long in work, in life, in general. How is it that you've lived all these years without knowing about this thing? Being completely illiterate in this thing that is a part of your job now. How come you don't know? How? How is it? How is it? How? How is it possible that you? How? I don't understand. How? And sometimes they'll try and have a discussion with you about that. Now another thing that they'll do is they'll try and make a loud statement. So maybe you're somewhere and whether it's like the office or wherever you're working and they'll come to you and they'll start asking you questions that they know you cannot answer because you've asked them so many times before and they refuse to teach you. They'll now come and ask you so many questions or say do this and this and this and this and this and that in front of people knowing that you don't know how to do it. So now you need to find them to be like, um, actually I cannot complete this task because I've not yet been shown how to and then you have to go and find them where they are and they're going to situate themselves to where other people are so they can hear what you're going to say they can hear how incompetent you are supposedly and this incompetence is not by choice so most of the times it's by force if you're at a workplace and people don't want to show you how to do things there is an elaborate scheme going on to ensure that you are always the person that does not know how to do stuff you're always the person that is confused and useless and doesn't know how to do their job properly Meanwhile, it might not be because you want to be like that, but you just are like that because of other people. Then there's another thing that I hate so much. Mm, 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 mm. Gossip. Gossip at the workplace, y'all. We all know people that are, that have a whole PhD and master's in gossiping. What I'll say is, if you ever want to stop getting bullied at the workplace or you want to now learn more about the job or whatever, the best thing is to not follow these gossipers. You don't want to follow what these people are doing. They'll turn it around and say it's you. they say it's you that said it and you won't be able to deny that you said some things. Don't agree, don't say yes, don't say no. As you look at them and be like, so have you told her this is how you feel? Have you told him you don't like it when he does this and that? And then they look at me like, are you crazy? Why would I tell them? Why would I actually go out of my comfort zone and out of my way to stand there and tell them stuff? No, of course I have not. And I'm just like, okay, well maybe you should. Because that's what's actually going to change the situation. If there's open communication, you know? But you know, even in school, we're not really th taught that. People do it in school, you don't get checked for it. You hit somebody in school. Oh, principal's office, this, that, 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 that. But if you're actually gossiping about little Nancy over there uh, nine times out of ten even the teachers are like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're listening and then the teachers also be out there on the playground now looking at the, the students or the, the kids and gossiping as well so yeah, everybody's out there to get gossiping material hmm. that is crazy and then sometimes they'll show you they'll show you but only because that's less workload for them so when they show you how to do xyz then they can crack on and do abc so it's still coming from a narcissistic place it's still coming from a place of me 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 that's where that's coming from but at least they've shown you number seven sometimes they'll be trying to use reverse psychology where all of a sudden they're very nice to you and it's like so how was your weekend hey man what's your business man and how is your kid oh your son must be so big now you got pictures oh and how's your husband doing? What does he work as? Oh. 
was a business. What kind of school does your kid go to? Is it private? Is it a private school? How did they confine you, man? Okay, and is that your car over there? Ooh, how long have you had that car? How much did you get it for? Wool up, wool up, wool up, wool up, just wool up. I'm trying to buy a car and oh, I would love your advice. Um, nice shoes, where did you- Do me a favor, please, get out of here. Literally, it will now be everything that you do is amazing. Everything you do now is great and like sometimes the worst part. Oh my goodness, I hate this. The worst part is when they're like to other people, come, come and see it. Look at her shoes. Come, come and see. Look at her car. Come, come and see. Look at her kid on her phone. Bet why. And so they're always including other people so that later on they can go and gossip about the things, you know, their their findings. This is like a this is a field study, okay? They need to get enough info. They try and find out enough about you so that so that now they have gossip material. A bully will always need gossip material. A pro gossiper will always need gossip material. So they'll come to you and they'll ask you things and sometimes in the midst of other people. No, actually. That's one thing. And they'll kind of trip you up. In the midst of other people, they'll kind of trip you up with their question, their line of questioning, right? And so you say something that you didn't quite mean that way and everybody can hear it and your entire existence is being misconstrued as something that it is not, right? That is one thing. And then the second thing that can happen is that basically, um, they do it when nobody's there so that some of the answer that you're gonna give they're gonna get it take it and then put things around it and fabricate stuff around it so that when people ask you you know they'll go off to gossip about it later to other people when people ask you about it later on they're gonna be like oh but um blah 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 blah, blah. you're gonna answer them but your answer is gonna ring half true and half not so they're either gonna think that you're you're intentionally Mm, withholding information right or um yeah you're intentionally in holding information or that you're lying one of the two and both of them is going to still make you look shady as anything shady so be careful who you you just share all your information with and i'm personally a believer in you know workplace friends and friends friends they're two different things you have to be able to walk into work and not everybody knowing all of your business because it is none of their business to know that much about you it depends if you really find that person that you can really rock with and you know that they're solid then i guess that's different but nine times out of ten there's some it's just it's just crazy and yeah some people have loads of work colleague friends and some people are just like, mm -mm. They, they love to separate the two. And I totally understand why. It depends on the kind of people, to be honest. Some some workplaces, it's like family. Like everybody is together. They're like family. People bring in cakes, snacks, food, drinks, whatever. They, they have a good time. They laugh. And it's like everybody's equally yoked. It happens. It's kind of rare, but it does happen. And the thing about it is, can we all just get along? Like we're all grown people. These grown-up bullies, I don't really understand it. I don't understand the appeal of it. I don't understand what that does, what brownie points you get for that. I don't under I just don't understand it. But people will do it. People will do it and people will follow. <laughs> That's the craziest thing. People will follow the foolery. Number nine that these bullies will do, they'll constantly make you feel like you're underskilled. They'll walk around and be like, Oh, don't know why you can't do that or don't know why you can't do this. Oh, you should you be able to know how to do this by now? Or why did you do that like that? To constantly make you feel on your skills so that when you're going to work, you're always like, oh my gosh. Like, you know, you have that feeling in your gut, like, why am I here? Or why why are they doing this to me? Or why why am I here? Why, why are they doing this to me? Or literally, why can't I do these things? It'll be made to seem like everybody who walked in there always already knew how to do some of these things, right? What they'll do is they'll make sure that you feel so, 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 so inadequate that is basically what it is you feel inadequate and the thing that i never understand about these bullies and these people is that they seem to kind of forget where they came from it's just like rich folk when they act all like somebody could be poor in january i mean po in january and by june they're mm, 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 mm. they are wilding maxing relaxing all cool they're they're doing whatever 
they're having an amazing life, they have a lot of moolah to spend, and all of a sudden they forget where they came from. And so the whole attitude changes, they ditch them both friends, they get them some rich friends, and everything about them starts becoming very superficial and fake. And just such a drastic 180 that you're like, huh? Weren't you that same person eating ramen noodles morning, lunch, and, and dinner just a few months ago, and now you're out here talking caviar this and this champagne that and what, 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 and just being rude with it, not being nice with it. There's a lot of people like that. Like, mm -mm, I'm no longer that person from the block. Now I own the block. I'm, I'm different. I'm a changed person. I don't even know who that peasant was, but <laughs> this is a new and improved me. And that's how people walk into the workplace when they're like bullies. They don't remember that there was a time that they also needed to be shown things. There was a learning curve for them as well. It wasn't always easy. They didn't always get everything. And somebody had to sit down with them and teach them every single thing. But they forget that. Once they know how to do everything, they're fully in the know, and they forget how it was to be that person. Which I think is very, very interesting. It's just it's just sad because the, the the other side of that also is that it can always turn around, you can always still become that person that does not know something. Because there's always a lot to learn, you're never going to know everything. So as soon as your workplace one day decides, you know what, we're gonna change the whole computer system or we're gonna change the way things work or the layout of the place or whatever, then everybody's gonna have a learning curve at that moment. And whether you're a bully and you think you're all of that, at some point you're still gonna need the help of others to learn how to do something. You're still gonna have to learn certain skills and all these things and you're gonna be at the mercy of other people. Heck, maybe you're gonna be at the mercy of those that you were bullying. Those that came in that didn't know anything might be the ones to pick up this new routine and stuff quicker than you can and you'll be at the mercy of them. That's the thing. Never forget where you came from. They always say that, but it doesn't only, for me, I don't think it only applies to like money and riches and going from poor to rich. Um, it's also with these type of things. Richness in knowledge. Don't take it for granted and don't boast with it. Be humble at all times and be always ready to share, whether it's your wealth or your knowledge. Be always willing to share, you know, part of you and be graceful with it, you know. Don't Oh, that's a whole other video like people who then teach other people but they're being rude with it like no you do this and you do how what are you no what are you doing delete that delete that and write this I have I've told you so many times and they're like I've seen this in so many occasions I've seen this in shops where people are trying to learn where they're like learning how to be a cashier or whatever I've seen this who in different workplaces it is weird to say the least because you yourself then look silly like if you're that impatient you look silly like you never have to judge people's inability to suck you know soak in information or people's inability to learn from maybe they're intimidated by you how about that maybe they're intimidated by you that's not a good thing so it's gonna take you extra long to teach these people things because you have now intimidated the crap out of them and they're never gonna be 100% able to be cool with you and to be free with you and to be asking you any and every question as you should be at work you should be able to learn this goes for school as well but that's also a whole other video yeah don't be knowledge hoarders don't be stingy with your knowledge love to share love to share there is so much joy in sharing then number 10 at the end of the road maybe now you've gotten to know your bully a little bit more they started to soften up and they're genuinely maybe even sorry for how they treated you all these years months weeks whatever days and now they're coming around and they teach you this thing unbeknownst to them maybe somebody else has finally caved in because this is the thing right when the bullies is like yeah you know um I don't want to teach them this, that, that, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, because, you know, they don't retain information. They're like this, they're like that. Then other people are like, mm hmm yeah, I think I'm also, uh -huh, yeah, actually, it's true, yeah. They're, they're actually quite annoying, yeah, 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 yeah. But other people do that, and they also don't want to teach you anything, right? So this is where things become funny, because they then also do not want to have much to do with you. So everybody starts to withdraw. Now, back to the bully teaching you how to do things. Maybe by now, somebody else has caved in and has already taught you the thing. But you're like, okay, let's see how the bully does it. And then you come to find out, you come to the realization that, wait, hold on a minute. This person actually has no idea how to do this thing. <laughs> they either don't know how to do it 
or they're doing it very horribly or all this time whenever they did whatever procedure or whatever it is that they were doing they always got somebody else to come and sit with them and to help them out so basically the whole thing is fake the whole thing is fake all this pompous behavior was for nothing because they actually had no clue what they were doing themselves and maybe that's where all the the, the angriness came from and the agitation came from because they themselves did not really know and they were like i've been in this company for so long or i've been doing this for so long or i've been in this this profession for so long i should actually know but i don't and i've been scared to ask anybody so in in turn what i've decided to do is be a bully have this weird attitude so that nobody can tell that actually i'm inadequate and i don't know how to do stuff i can't even figure it out y'all i can't even figure it out but what i was saying in my last video that was so rudely deleted by my phone basically what i want to say is how you deal with these people ultimately is you i've had people like proper stare me down like stare me up and down and they kept doing that and i would just look at them like what what is it just teach the thing teach the thing so that we can all live kumbaya and keep it moving and keep it pushing like the more time you spend trying to bring somebody down that time you could have taught them and if you don't know it's better to say now in year 10 that you don't know how to do the thing than in year 50 that's gonna be really ridiculous that's it. the longer you go around not knowing how to do this thing the, the crazier you look the crazier you look okay maybe i shouldn't say that but anywho the weirder it is though, the weirder it is that you don't know this thing. I'm always full of questions. I want to learn more. I'm not going to walk around, pretend that I know how to do something when I don't know how to do something. I will always go around and be like, so I've never seen this before, so what's that? Or I don't know how to do that, so what's that? Can you teach me how to do this? Can you teach me how to do that? No, teach me from beginning to end. Now watch me do it. Now watch me do it again. Okay, peace out. Now I'm cool. Now I'll be cool for decades to come because the, nobody's going to have to teach me this thing anymore because I've been taught very well i've been taught no these are the steps i've been shown so shown slack okay i've been taught you know verbally da, 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 this is how it goes i've been shown come see how i do it and then i've been assisted and guided and then i've just been observed these are the steps and then once you observe even that you need to observe a few times and you see that the person has that confidence built up and then you can be like okay it's fine now yeah now she, this person can do it so anyway you keep pushing if anything hopefully your bully is not your director your boss your manager person in charge because they can be like that too but if they are not you go to them and you tell them look this person that's my higher up doesn't want to teach me how to do xyz i've asked them on numerous occasions as and like this like that like that and they did not want to help me out and then you can see what can happen from there because at the end of the day you need to be able to do your job efficiently you need to be able to get out of bed and be like oh i'm so excited to go to work let me all these nice people and do my work to the best of my ability and i'm gonna have a great time no matter how stressful no matter the workload no matter anything i'm gonna have an amazing time at work and that's just is what that is you need to be able to wake up in the morning and be like, what day is it today? Ah, work day. And tap dance your way to the place. That, that's what I hope everybody has. And yeah, that's that's what you need, man. That's what you need. Uh, what else? So yeah, if they do the stare down, just stare back at them. Don't get all nervous and start like, or actually, or should I? Um, hmm. Some people then just start talking jibber jabber. Just be quiet. Listen to what they've got to say. Because they will dig a hole for themselves. You know, if they've got nothing nice to say, they'll just start talking anyhow and saying, saying some stuff that people around will even be like, but why are they talking to her or him like that? that is not nice you know so just if you can't be bothered to let it slide and let them dig that hole for themselves and talk utter rubbish or if you can't be bothered and it's taking too long and you be feeling some kind of way and this is not just oh they're having a bad day but this is like this is an elaborate plan to make me feel horrible and not to teach me anything then you can be like you can take them to the side and be like you know what i actually didn't like how you spoke to me this way when, when this happened and that happened the problem that i found often is Sometimes if you leave it too long, they'll either be busy or they're not around or they've gone for a meeting or whatever and you won't actually be able to catch them and it would have been so long ago that it doesn't even make too much sense to confront them anymore but sometimes you have to do it like in the moment even when people are around but in a nice way we're not talking confrontation like none of that we're talking a civilized conversation hey wait a second why why are you saying this like that you do realize that i don't know and you do realize that i've asked this many a million times to be shown and can you actually show me because i feel like dot 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 say how you feel say like explain how the situation that has just occurred how it looks like to you how you ex how it looks like to you. describe the situation explain how it looks like to you and explain how it made you feel right how it makes you feel and what it makes you look like and what you think 
about them in that moment you can say everything but in a very nice civilized way when i say that maybe people's mind is always going to like these tv shows where people are like always very rude when they're confronting and stuff like that but it's like it doesn't really it doesn't really have to be like that like we can be civil however even in movies or in tv shows or whatever we're not seeing examples of people confronting each other in a normal healthy manner there is definitely ways definitely ways of of confronting people like in a cool manner yeah and just just talking just having dialogue it is all about communication at the end of the day but whatever you're going through at work stick it out go through it voice your opinions because if you stay quiet nobody will know that you're suffering that you're in pain or that you know you're being bullied or whatever the heck the situation is nobody will know if you suffer in silence make sure you tell people um it's not always a good idea to have a confidant. It's not always a good idea to have that one person at work or a few people at work. They're like, I'm going to tell them what I'm going through or what this person is doing to me because, as I said, point five, gossip. Be careful about that. If you have an issue with somebody as well, even though it's a very bad issue, like it's not like, oh, look at her shoes. But it's like, seriously, like somebody is really trying to bring you down and not trying to help you in no kind of way, shape or form. And it's a very serious matter and you tell somebody else and you confide in somebody, even that can be construed as it can be seen as gossip so be careful with that make sure you tell the person directly that is bothering you and whatever you do you know if you're about to start a new job or whatever make sure you you put your assertive foot forward you better come in there boom ready to be assertive and stuff because if you don't <laughs> yeah that's when they're like okay see this shy person I'm gonna tear them down. See this person that doesn't seem to have a voice? I'm gonna tear them down. See this person that's always smiley? I used to be that person. Always smiley. But there's not always something to smile about. <laughs> like people find that sometimes, people find that weird. In the same way that people find it weird when you're always like with a straight face. You need a healthy balance. But yeah, assert yourself. I think number one, you go anywhere, you're assertive and yeah, you, you show you show your true colors and you show who you are. That you don't deal with any bull. That you will not take any nonsense from anybody. And then from there, mm -hmm, from there, yep. From there, people will put some respect on your name, as they should. But yeah, ultimately, right? It is not really up to you. It shouldn't be up to you. It shouldn't be because of you and the way you carry yourself that people treat you a certain manner. I know. But I'm just saying that it helps when you do conduct yourself in a certain manner. It is what it is. Was not fair. That's just how it be sometimes. So anywho, don't let them bring you down. Present yourself in, the, in your true self, the way you truly are. You're probably not this shy, whatever person. Because when you're around your friends, you're all like, woo. And you have a personality about you. You're fun to be around. You're amazing. You're, you're intelligent. And, you know, yeah. So that's number one. And then don't let them bring you down. From the first stare down, don't be moved. Stand your ground. And always stand your ground. Don't join the gossipers. Nip things in the butt immediately. Something, you don't like something, you say it immediately. Shut it down. And that way people know that mm -mm, if they cross you, you're going to shut it down ASAP. You know, and that's what you need. That's what you need. But anyway, I hope this was very informative and insightful and interesting. And let me know what you think as well. Let me know what you think. Zone below. And whatever you do. Make sure you hit, bump, stop, and subscribe button, and hit the notification, notification bell whilst you're at it. My time for glorious life. It's time to start with the world, living it right. I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye. God bless. This video better not delete itself. Get out of here, man. I'm saying.